watching KWQC TV, making a difference in the Quad Cities. Live from the Quad Cities with Morgan OTA and Kyle Keel. This is Quad Cities Live. Today on QCL, we are featuring our latest four-legged friend ready to be adopted into a loving home. We'll meet this kitten and learn more about a holiday open house fundraiser at the Quad City Animal Welfare Center. And we continue our series, Tasty with Tiff, simple holiday recipes from a restaurant owner. We'll be in the QCL kitchen with Tiffany's quick and easy game day bites. And later, organization made easier with Shelf Genie. This locally owned and operated company provides pull-out shelves to turn organization frustration into happiness. We'll have a live demonstration a little bit later in the show. You're watching Quad Cities Live. It is Monday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Thank you to all who have served our country and are serving in the armed forces. We thank you for your service not only today, but of course, each and every day. I'm Kyle Keel. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. My co-host Morgan OTA has the day off, but she will be back here a little bit later this week. All right, so it's time to get into the holiday spirit. And for more than 45 years, the Christmas Cottage has been doing just that in the Quad Cities. Jackie DeMeyer has brought part of the cottage to us here today, which is opening here this Friday in Davenport. So we're going to get a preview of all of the vendors that are there. And I, I say you brought part of the cottage. I mean, we can't even say part. This is like a very, a very, very tiny part of it. Yeah, very, very small. Yeah, so we're sample. talking almost five decades yeah. of the Christmas cottage here in the Quad Cities. What makes the Christmas cottage so special and such a tradition? Uh, the Christmas cottage offers such a huge variety of products that are brought in by local people. Yes. Um, it's right before the holiday shopping season. You get to knock out so many gifts for all of the people you want to buy for all in one shot. Yeah, and these are gifts that you can't find any other time of the year because right. a lot of them are made just for the Christmas season. So we've got, what, 60 different vendors? Right. We're talking local and regional, but yes. mostly Iowa, Illinois. That's correct. All right, okay. so let's uh, talk about some of the more popular items. And, you know, your eye is drawn really to the center of this table. You bet. This is the lighted block. Is that yes, what it's called? Okay, correct. the lighted, lighted block. block. So why are these such a hot commodity? They are so classic, so <laughs> yeah. traditional. They're beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. She, br she has brought us um, uh, lots of different colors. She also has flatter ones. They all light up, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Um, I know we've got three or four in my own house. Oh, uh, really? Oh, the blues are my absolute favorite. Yeah, very, and this absolute is something that favorite. you can keep up past Christmas oh, yeah. because it's, it's very winter related. Yes. And I mean, this is just beautiful without it being lit up. We only have yes. uh, so many plugs here, but right. uh, next to it is the classic ceramic Christmas tree. I mean, yes. I remember growing up with a couple of these in my house, my grandparents' house, but these are still in 2024. Yes. They're sought after. They are sought <laughs> after, and our maker has brought several different colors. Okay. Um, I am very partial to the blue, obviously, sure. I'm very partial to blue. Yeah. We've got green, we've got white, we've got tall, we've got big, we've got skinny. I mean, that she's brought me a slug of trees. So no um, discrimination of the ceramic trees. That is correct. <laughs> That's yes. great. So um, I, people need to come check these out. They're beautiful. Yes. And obviously this one's not lit today, no. but wait till you see it lit up. All right. Well, what is great. lit today is this uh, Santa statue that we have right here. Isn't he cool? Yes. He's pretty cool. So we'll get, we'll get a tight shot of him. Yes. But uh, how many of these guys do you have available? A whole bunch. You do and have a bunch. Okay. Various sizes. I've got some that are really big. I've got some that are more tabletop size. Okay. Um, they're all very unique, um, one of a kind things. Um, someplace you're not gonna find these anywhere else, guys. These, no. these these are really cool. Yeah, these are very cool. And then uh, below that, you've got uh, some. What are, what are these statues? Those, those are snowmen? little snowmen. They yeah, are made are out cute. of wood. Yeah. They are a very popular item at the Christmas cottage, and that maker has brought us a couple different sizes of those as well. Um, they are they're again a very sought after item. I don't know how limited quantity we have of those. Sure. We've got obviously we're not open yet, but we've got some right now. I'm not sure how many more we're gonna get okay. um, but, but again another very sought after item all right and it wouldn't be Christmas without ornaments so we've got yes. what looks to be handmade ornaments yes. that can kind of be customized yes. to your family yes so yeah, the these Christmas are cool. cottage also offers personalizing service mm -hmm. um, some ornaments that it um, that you know we can personalize for you other ornaments are just they look pretty classy the way they are mm -hmm. um, the Christmas cottage is known for its wide variety of ornaments and this year we've got a lot to offer this is a very small sample of some of the more classical Christmas, yeah. I, Christmas ornaments that we've got 
this year, just a very, very small sampling. And they're very detailed, too, yes. which, is, which is what I like yes. about it. It's a, a lot of thought and a lot of work goes into That's it as well. That's exactly so, right. You were telling me before the show that you worked really hard to get your wine yes. into the Christmas cottage. I so we got to so give a shout out to the wine. proud. Um, yeah. Tabor Homes Winery is with us again this year. Okay. Um, they have, um, they've actually, she told me today, they were awarded some pretty big time awards oh, for boy. their wine. Oh, boy. All right. So we've got so, some award winning wine. Yes. And where are they based so, out of? Baldwin, Iowa. Baldwin, Iowa. Okay. Baldwin in Iowa. So, so I just brought a couple of them today. Um, the raspberry is kind of my favorite. It sounds good it's to me, yeah. It's delicious. I'll if have you to have try not it. tried it, please do try yes. it. Um, the cranberry, I mean, Thanksgiving's just right around the corner, guys. It is the season. Grab a bottle for yourself, grab a bottle to take to Thanksgiving. That You won't be disappointed. It's wonderful wine. They, we've got, um, I'm not sure how many flavors they have um, that they brought at least five or six different ones. There's okay. a cherry, there's a cranberry, obviously. There's a black, uh, blackberry. Ooh, it's all delicious. The berries. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so wonderful selections of wine and we we will be doing samplings oh, of okay. the wine. All right. So swing by, grab yeah. a sample, see which one you like. There you go. Of course, with any sort of vendor market, there's candles that smell oh, fantastic. I was you just, smell Oh, I did. One. I mean, I opened it you and I just immediately got a big whiff of it. It smelled great. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Um, and yes, you got to try our freeze dry candy. Yes, the freeze dry candy. Oh my gosh. This is just a popular. I don't think I've had freeze dry candy before. I need to try it because any market that comes out here, they mm. rave about it. Yes. They, yes. You just can't keep them in stock. And we, we've got the candy, but pickles. She's like, once this fair opens yes. on, I on Friday, I cannot wait to the pickles. She's, she's getting, she's yes. snagging these up. Yes. All right, so we wanted to go on to the other table here because yeah. we've got a, a nice little wood carving or wood sculpture yes. of so, a reindeer. Um, that's actually a Highland cow. It's a Highland cow, okay. So we don't just have 100% Christmas okay, we items. We do have everyday items, too. The Highland yeah. cows are extremely popular, and they made me a Highland a cow this year. This is a one-of-a-kind. <laughs> There's not going to be another one. Oh, okay. So get it while you can. First guy there wins. So All right. Um, we do have a lot of everyday items. Um, we've got cows. We've got chickens. We've got the farm stuff covered. Um, gifts for everybody. Anybody right. that might be hard to shop for, we got gotcha. you. All right, so you want to be sure to get there early, which yes. you open this Friday, and yes. you're at a new location, as yes, you are every are. year. Yes, we are. So uh, you're on East 53rd in yes, Davenport near the Texas Roadhouse. Right next door to Texas okay, Roadhouse. Okay, perfect. So it was the Farmer's Necker's Jewelers building. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. And, yep, right there where Necker's used to be. Yeah. Um, right outside our front door is Texas it. Roadhouse. So right. you can't miss us. Perfect. So, uh, again, the Christmas Cottage is going to be held from uh, November 15th through the 24th. That address is 4007 East 53rd Street in Davenport. They'll be open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Sundays from 10 to 6. And if you want more information, you can check out ChristmasCottageDavenportIowa.com as well as their Facebook page. And... When does the next year start? When does the we start? We start planning pretty much now. You start planning yeah, now. Yeah, this, is, this All right. takes a lot to plan. So, a lot so of hard work goes right into away. it. You All bet. right. Thank you, you so much. Out. Jackie, thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, best of luck here this weekend and through the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much. All right. Well, up next on QCL, we're going to meet this week's adorable, adoptable four legged friend. He's up for adoption at the Quad City Animal Wel Welfare Center, where a holiday open house is coming up to raise funds for the organization. You're watching Quad Cities Live. Every Monday on Quad Cities Live, we take a moment to meet an adoptable four-legged friend from an area shelter. And this week, it's a kitten that is currently at the Quad City Animal Welfare Center in Milan. And as always, Patty McRae is in. And she brought with us cute little orange kitten, mm -hmm. Avocado. Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about Avocado. Oh, he's darling. He so is. He's three months old, and he's a little neutered male. Oh. He's current on vaccines, and he's microchipped. He's just looking for a, a loving home. Yeah, and you've had him for about a month, you said? Yeah, we've, we've had him and his two sisters for about a month now. Normally what we do is, um, if they're too young to be adopted, which is sure. eight weeks old, okay. they'll go into a foster. And sometimes we put them in foster just because we're so full, too. Yes, yes. that's a problem. Lots and lots of kittens. Yes. Um, so we've had him for about a month, and um, he seems to do really well. Very sweet kitty. Um, I know he looks a little scared right now, but yeah. he, not he's not. When you yes. get him out playing, he oh. loves to play. And he just got he just got done with a little cat nap, so yeah, yeah he's he's a he's a little shy right now. But mm -hmm. you know, we were talking last time you were here to adopt in pairs. Would he be one that would probably be better off alone? Um, 
I don't think so. Not I, necessarily. I th yeah, I, I think he'd still do well with one of his sisters. Okay. I could see him cuddling up with one of his sisters, no. or maybe if you have another adult cat at sure. home already, I, I think he'd be great with that. I think that would make him feel pretty good. Sure, he, they're familiar, and he's got his two sisters yeah. that are currently at the welfare center as yeah. well. So uh, you've got a big open house coming up here in mm -hmm. just a few weeks in early December, yeah. so you're getting yeah. prepared for that. We are. And uh, this is a big draw. Not only can the community come check out the adoptable animals, mm -hmm. but it also raises money for the welfare center. Yes, we're going to have lots of wonderful raffles, yeah. um, all kinds of baskets from the community. We're going to have vendors there as well. So if you want to come do some um, Christmas shopping, yeah. it's a great way to do that. And then if you're looking to adopt, definitely come out that day as well. Okay, especially the kittens, because I mean, yeah. like, like we always talk about, I mean, you have been inundated with kittens this year. Yeah, every shelter seems yes. to have so many of them, and we're we're not slowing down. We're yeah. still seeing lots of babies. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We got we got to get these shelters cleared, and it's events like this that really open the eyes to the community. Mm -hmm. So that'll be December seventh from twelve to four p.m. And uh, you, you know, we were talking before the show. You've got a, a wish list going on, and I was looking at your website. I mean, it is a list yes. of, of items that you need year round, but a little more of an incentive this time of year and, and mm -hmm. at the Holiday Open House, mm -hmm. uh, because if, if someone brings in an item from that list, they, they get a little bit of a, yeah. an added maybe prize. We're going to give them a little raffle yeah. ticket, so go. they get a free raffle ticket if they bring something in from our wish list. And really, it can be anything. Mm -hmm. um, of course, always we always need food, yeah. um, litter, cleaning products, paper towels. I mean, we use so many different types of things. So take a look at that wish list and uh, maybe just choose something off of there and um, bring it in and you'll get a free raffle ticket. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be anything that's, you know, super expensive no. like pet food, you know, dog or cat food. Like you said, cleaning supplies. I think that's something that people don't think about with these shelters is that not only do they have to care for the animals, but they have to care for the facility as yes. well. And it yeah. it takes a village, literally a village, yeah. to, to keep these shelters up and running. So uh, there's Avocado once again. So if you want to adopt him, you can check him out on the Quad City Animal Welfare Center uh, website, along with his uh, sisters and all the other pets that need adopted. And if you want to look at a cute pet each and every day of the year, mm -hmm. we've got the 2025 pet calendar that uh, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, but now you have them physically yes. at the shelter right now mm -hmm. and uh, they're ready for purchase. Yes. All right, so there's Nala right there. And uh, again, talk about how uh, money was raised just to creating this because uh, this is every month you've got a, a different animal. So there's January. Yeah, so we actually did a contest. And so um, we had um, friends and family vote to see who they wanted to be on the cover and then um, who would be each month. Yes. And so the top 12 want each month yes. get a picture there. Cute little and they're adorable. They are. Yeah, and so that was a good money maker for us, a good fun. Fundraiser, and this is my dog. This is Minnie. Yeah, yep. she she got voted. <laughs> oh, that's cute. she's darling. She is. Yeah, yeah she's adorable mm -hmm. with her little her little coat on her yeah. as well. So th there's little Minnie. There's yeah. there's Patty's little baby at home. Mm -hmm. So uh, this this of course raises uh, a lot of money for the yeah. welfare center. I mean, you're looking for money year round. So it's events like the open house and like this pet calendar mm -hmm. that are, are mm -hmm. so so needed for the Quad City Animal Welfare Center. And if you would like to check out any of the animals that are uh, up for adoption at the Quad. City Animal Welfare Center. It's located in Milan, along with the clinic. We have those phone numbers on your screen. And if you want to learn more about adoption opportunities and the process it takes to go through that, you can visit qcawc.org. Patty, thanks so much. Thank and uh, you. thanks for sharing avocado with us today. And hopefully, hopefully we have a success story coming up here yeah. in a few weeks. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Well, next on Quad Cities Live, it's a party with a purpose benefiting the Center for Active Seniors. Learn more about the Blitz and Bash, the kickoff to another important program for seniors in our community. You're watching Quad Cities Live. For more than 50 years, the Center for Active Seniors, or KSI, has been helping enrich the lives of older adults in the Quad Cities community. Throughout the year, KSI holds events to raise funds to reach that mission, and there's a holiday event that you won't want to miss a little bit later this month. Laura Kopp is the president and CEO of KSI and joins us now to talk about the Blitz and Bash 
coming up on November 21st. Laura, thanks so much for coming back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so this is the first Blitz and Bash, and this kind of replaces what's been known as the Hat Bash, which had a great 15-year run, but uh, we're starting yeah. a new tradition this year. We did, I know. People are probably used to seeing me with a hat. I wish you like, would have brought one, on? yeah. I know, I should have brought a couple. <laughs> no, this is going to take the place of the Hat Bash. We did the Hat Bash for 15 years. Yeah. It was exceptionally um, popular yeah. and really fun event, really successful event, but we wanted to create an event that was tied much closer to our Senior Secret Santa program. This is a gift yeah. giving program for older adults that are at risk of not receiving any gifts during the holiday season. And we thought, why not after our big 15th anniversary of Hat Bash, why not mix it up a little bit? Yeah, there you go. And, and that's that's the whole reason behind it is to to get the um, get it going for the Secret Santa program, which is very important uh, to the seniors living in our community. So uh, a lot of fun here for the Blitz and Bash. So again, it's on <laughs> Thursday, November 21st. So we've got great food, music, live entertainment, lots of activities as well. We do. We have a lot going on. And again, to support the Secret Santa program, a lot of folks don't know that many seniors don't have a lot of family around during the holiday right. season and we have a subsection of those seniors that really are lonely they're isolated mm -hmm. and they're at risk of not even having a visitor let alone a gift during the holiday season and you and I both have kids yeah. their lists are not like what our kids it, are giving us exactly, for Santa exactly right so these are items of everyday living you know things that we take for granted undergarments um, laundry soap um, perfumes, you know, winter jackets and hats and gloves and, and things that we really take for granted. So these are really, you know, low low cost items that right. they're asking for, but that they can't afford on their own. Yeah, and this, yeah, like you said, it's, it's stuff that we take for granted each absolutely. and every day that they are gonna be so happy to get. Oh, absolutely, you should you see know. the smiles on their face. That's the best part of the entire program is we have partners that go out and deliver these gifts and the smiles that you get from someone because they got a crossword puzzle yes. that they absolutely loved yeah. or the kind of, lotion that they wanted it's really just it's so heartwarming yeah i covered one of those events uh, where you gave them those gift items yeah. and just the the smiles on their faces just warms your heart for sure so uh, for folks at home watching where can they find these trees that have these items for these so they're going to be at case okay. um, at blitz and bash so okay. this is really kind of a, an event that's meant to bring people in to see case to participate in a fundraiser of course but also to get their tags for the secret santa program so we will We'll have multiple trees set up that night at the event and you can grab your tags then after the event you can just grab them at KSI. okay so it wouldn't be a bash without a bar right so we we'll have several bar. yes <laughs> We're going to have several. <laughs> We're having Holiday Hooch is Ooh, what someone called okay. it. I think each one of our um, different bars is going to have a different holiday drink that's been crafted like by our drink, folks right. at Case Eye. So we're super excited for that as well. We're going to have Freddie Allen and the quartet there doing some Michael Buble kind of mm -hmm. holiday jazz music. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We have our senior living partners that are coming out and they're going to be doing all kinds of fun desserts. So Ooh, okay. find a little sweet treat and some hooch. Yeah, there you go. So we've got the actual bash happening November. 21st from 530 to 830 at KSI. That's on uh, West Kimberly Road there in Davenport. But important to note, you've got the online auction that we starts a uh, week from today. It does. It yeah. starts a week from today. It's okay. an online auction. So you can go to our website at KSISeniors.org. Find a link to that website for Blitz and Bash. And you can go on and peruse all the different um, baskets that we put together, all of the different packages, and you can bid on those. And then bidding will close at the Blitz and Bash that night. All right. And really tickets, they're reasonably priced. They really bucks. are. When you think about, we were having Hat Bash and it was $50 yeah. a ticket. We really want to drive people into the center to see the center and to participate in the Secret Santa program. So tickets are only $20 this mm -hmm. year. We hope you'll bring yourself a couple of friends, come have a few cocktails and leave with a Secret Santa tag. And so really this is a good opportunity for someone who's not seen what you do at KSI exactly. to come check it out because I think when you when you walk in, I mean immediately, it's almost like a little town in, in and of itself. It is. It's like a little Mayberry. Yeah. We actually call the, the front hallway Main Street yeah. because you really do feel like you're walking down Main Street window shopping for the different things that you want to do as an older adult. And I think most people have a vision inside their heads of what a senior center looks like and mm -hmm. we always tell folks it's not that. It is not. You really it need to not. come in and see KSI to see what we're all about because no one lives there no, no. and we're all there to have fun stay connected and to live our best lives so it is a lot of fun and I hope a lot of people will come out and join us yeah because 
KSI wouldn't be possible without the help of the community. Oh, absolutely, especially these days. Our fundraising efforts are, are bigger and better and much more important as we start navigating this baby boomer population yeah. that's landing by the tens of thousands on our doorsteps. Here in Scott County alone, the 65 and older population has grown by nearly 40% over just the last 10 years. 40%. And it's wow. not done growing. So that mm -hmm. makes us the single fastest and largest growing age demographic wow. in our community. And so it's really important that we are prepared to serve the ever-growing needs of, of this population. And I, and I feel like we are because yeah. of how strong the community has come out to support us. Yeah, so. always a strong community effort with KSI. And uh, I hear that there's going to be a, another new event coming in the spring. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Laura. The Blitz and Bash is Thursday, November 21st from 530 to 830 at the Center for Active Seniors located at 1035 West Kimberly Road in Davenport. If you'd like to purchase tickets ahead of time, again, they're only $20 visit KSIBlitzandBash.com and don't forget the online silent auction goes from November 18th through the 21st. Hopefully uh, you get a lot of people to attend, Laura. Uh, sounds like a night of fun. Look forward to it. All Thank right. you. Thanks again, Laura. Well, coming up in the next half hour of QCL, Tasty with Tiff. We're back in the QCL kitchen. It's smelling good in here. We've got simple holiday recipes from a restaurant owner. We're focusing on a couple game day bites. An organization made easy with Shelf Genie. Find out how you can get these quality pull-out shelves installed in your home and a special offer for you. And we have a really nice start to the work week. Check out all that sunshine and blue sky. Well, it's not going to last as we do have a chance for rain later this week. Teresa Bryant will have those details coming up next in your first alert forecast. And now your first alert forecast with Teresa Bryant. Well, we started off early this morning with a few clouds passing through, but things cleared out quickly and now enjoying some sunshine all across the region. And it looks like that's going to carry over into Tuesday as well. We've got a reading of 52 degrees. Northwest winds a little bit on the breezy side at about 18 miles per hour. Let's take a look at temperatures right now. Readings ranging from 48 degrees in Galena, 49 in Dubuque, 50 in Maquoketa and also Davenport, Washington. Washington and Mount Pleasant to a reading of 55 degrees in Princeton and also Kiwani, 55 in Macomb and Keokuk. Winds still moving out of the northwest right now at about 10 to 20 miles per hour and also seeing gusts of up to 25 miles per hour. Uh, we did see gusts of up to 30 miles per hour earlier this afternoon, but those winds expected to diminish somewhat as we head through the evening hours. Clear sailing across much of Iowa and in to northern Illinois. A lot of sunshine out there and clear skies. Well, that's what we'll be seeing at least through this evening. But we could see a few passing clouds during the overnight hours as we head into early Tuesday. Most of that out of here just as quickly as it arrives and more sunshine on tap for the region. Not as much warmth though. Uh, temperatures will remain a little bit cool and uh, we will start off with some chilly readings for your Tuesday, but starting to get back into the 40s and 50s for our highs. Now we are looking at Another chance for rain moving in by the middle of the week. Starting mainly Wednesday afternoon, continuing into the evening hours before coming to an end. After that, clear and dry conditions as we head into Thursday. Some scattered cloud cover Friday and into Saturday. And we may see a sprinkle or two on Sunday. Not really uh, all that confident on that. But as far as our temperatures for this evening go, well, it looks like it's going to stay on the chilly side. 30 degrees for our overnight low under mostly clear skies. Highs for tomorrow back in the 40s and 50s. 49 degrees in Stockton. 50 in Preston. 52 in Morrison. We'll see a reading of 52 degrees in Muscatine. 53 in Galesburg and 53 degrees in Aquaca. The Quad Cities expecting a reading of 51 degrees with cool sunshine all around. And we are tracking that rain as it continues to make its way through the region on Wednesday, continuing overnight and coming to an end early Thursday. Temperatures still in the 50s to near the 60 degree mark and we will see dry conditions at least heading into the weekend and some scattered cloud cover uh, expected for your Sunday as well. Uh, temperatures actually a little bit above normal for this time of year.
All right, Teresa, thanks so much. Yeah, I mean, overall for November standards, this, this really isn't such a bad forecast. Oh, yeah. I mean, normally we would see a high right around 52, 53 yeah. degrees, and we will see that tomorrow and into Wednesday, but temperatures back into the middle to upper 50s, possibly near 60 for some locations. Yeah, let's take in those 60 degree days while they last. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, T. Well, next on Quad Cities Live, we're in the QCL kitchen. Smells pretty good. Tasty with Tiff. This week, we're focusing on quick and easy game day bites. This TV6 Veterans Day tribute segment is sponsored by Track Community Credit Union. would like to thank all of our veterans for their dedicated service. You're watching Quad Cities Live. We're in the QCL kitchen today with our November series, Tasty with Tiff, simple holiday recipes from a restaurant owner. Joining us now, as always, Tiffany Cannon, owner of Tiffany's in downtown Davenport. And Tiffany, uh, you brought a, a couple of, of ways to make game day a little more simple, just some simple game day treats, yes. game day bites. So these are really fast and easy, so you can plan ahead and have these if you have unexpected company come over. Yeah. These are all things that normally people might have in their um, either refrigerator, cabinet, um, sure. nothing crazy, it's yeah. quick and easy, so yeah. yeah. Quick and easy, and that's the way we like it. And uh, one quick and easy way to make a drink is what you're about to show us now. We're gonna make a beer garita. Beer garita. All right. Not unlike a homemade lime marita, yes. which are so good, but yeah. like I always said, like last week, I said, let's get the party going with the drinks and then we and cook, then cook, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, so we are going to get this started. This is made for a group, so we'll okay. go ahead. This is three beers in the container. Okay, so three beers. We, we got already the recipe have on the two screen. beers in there. Yes, we'll pour the other one in. Ooh, there we yeah. go. You don't want any ice in here because it's going to get um watered down sure. i mean if you do i mean normally all your beer would be chilled right okay and then we're going to take a 12 ounce 12 ounce can of limeade right, and just limeade. pour that right pour in. that in yeah all right there, there we go oh, Ooh, there we go yeah. nice little splash and then this is really easy normally i bring the measuring uh, the little measure we're just going to oh, fill sure. this half all the way with okay. tequila with tequila all right do you like tequila um you know what oh. i I too don't, much tequila in college? I, too much tequila in college <laughs> and uh, early happens. days of working in television, <laughs> so if, if I'm being honest. Yep. Uh, so I, I think that if I had uh, maybe a couple of sips of this, it would yep. be bad yep. news here. And then half, oh, of that, half of that uh, full of triple sec. Okay. Mine is uh, vodka and orange juice. Had too much vodka, in college, uh -huh. I'm good. You didn't I don't have ever, too much of Okay, you said halfway? Yep, I don't All ever right, want to smell vodka more. and orange juice ever again. Oh boy. Oh boy. So there we go. And then just give it a little stir. Okay, so we got the stirring. Super stirring right easy. Here. How fast yeah. and easy was that? Yeah, this isn't, this isn't bad at all. So again, no ice because you don't want it to get yeah, watered down. No ice. And then you just okay. fill it up and everybody gets warm and fuzzy and happy. And there if your go. team loses, nobody really cares. Right, exactly. Because you got the drink to, that I guess, drown your sorrows. Ooh, all right. So I'm yeah. going to try this uh, beer garita. Beer garita. So you, you kind of compare this to a, a lime garita. Yeah, but lime garita that is, comes in the can and then, um, yeah, you're good. I also brought some. Ooh, that is very good. High five? Yeah, high five. I mean, that's better than the lime marina, that's for sure. <laughs> then I brought some smashed potatoes, and these yes. are really easy. So we take a bag of baby potatoes, and you boil them until fork tender on the stove, okay? okay? Then you take them out, and you roll them in two tablespoons of oil. So you can see we have two tablespoons of oil. Okay. So they're already uh, nice and soft. And then you just take a cup, and you smash them, right? You oh, that's easy enough. Yeah, you just you smash go. them like that. And what that's going to do is give them more surface area to get crispy mm -hmm. and yummy. And then we made um, a uh, garlic parmesan uh, spread that goes on top of the potatoes. And then you bake them for 20 to 30 minutes at 425. Okay. And then they look like that. 
And yeah, then this you, is the finished product right here, and these look incredible. Yeah, they're so good. You can, yeah, they're crispy and cheesy and garlicky, um, and then they end up looking great. And, yes. and that is so easy. That's something that won't take very long. Yeah. Um, and easy, easy peasy. So. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we're going to make a delicious beer cheese dip. And yes. I mean, who doesn't like a good beer cheese dip? Everybody loves beer cheese yes. dip on game day, right? Absolutely. So this one is a little bit different. When I think about beer cheese dip, I think, oh my gosh, it's got to sit in a crock pot all day. Right, right, right. Um, but this is really fast and easy. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a roux. Do you know what a roux is? Uh, you know what? It thickens soup, doesn't it? At, at times. I think I learned that a couple of weeks ago, yep. but I might be a little off. So a roux is butter and flour, okay. right? And so yeah. that what is a, a natural thickener. We use okay, this so in a lot of our soups. Um, and you can use it in gravy. Um, and today we're using it in the beer and cheese dip. So okay. what you want to do is just make sure. Are you a cook? I am not. No. Oh. Just like Morgan, I have no experience in oh. the kitchen. Okay. I mean, I make a good grilled cheese. Oh, that uh, counts. Yeah, I, that counts, right? Yeah. yeah. I, can, I can throw a, a few vegetables on the grilled cheese, make it a little spicier, I guess so you could say. So we just want to make sure that that flour is nice and you can't really see it anymore. It's nice and incorporated. Okay. Okay. And then what we want to do, do you want to pour the yeah, milk I'll pour in? Yeah, pour the milk. So we're going to pour the milk in. Okay. And I have, I gave all these recipes to your producer. Yes. And then if you want to pour the magic ingredient in the beer. Okay, the beer. With right there. Oh, here. Yeah. So you can see it's nice and thick already. Okay. And then if you want to add um, the spices right okay. there. Um, so the spices are salt, garlic, uh, powder, cayenne, paprika, all sorts of good stuff. Mm. And then we'll put the Worcestershire in okay. there. See how quick it this yeah, is. This so is, easy, right? It's very easy. All you have to do is so all you have to do is get the list of ingredients, yep. which will be posted on our website and just pour it into a pan. Yep. And, and then the cheese. And do you want to put the rest of the, the cheese most, in there? The most important ingredient, right? Yeah. All right. And then it gets all melty and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then what we did with ours is yeah. that we did um, veggies. Um, okay. If you have veggies in there, that's great. Um, if you have uh, pretzel sticks, they can use those. Um, pita chips. If you want to do like a, um, if you wanted to do like a, a, um, a tortilla chip, that yeah. works as well. Okay. And then it just comes together lickety split. I mean, I was going to say, this took us what? A minute and a half, two a minutes? A minute and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So don't be afraid of cooking in your house. Um, that's what I would say. And look, yeah. I mean, it is like, woo! Look at that. Cheesy. Cheese. I'm going to get it. And then you just put it in the bowl. Okay. And then have your serving platter ready. Okay. And it is. Do you want to try Look that? Look at that. I absolutely do. I'm going to take one of that. these pretzels. That's pretty good. Wow. Don't burn your mouth. Do not. I know. I, I see the steam coming off of it. So we'll... Uh, We'll get this going here. And are, are these are all items that you serve on the menu. What, what are some of your most popular items on the menu right now? Uh, most popular item on the menu is an open-faced turkey sandwich. So um, it is the season, right, with the open-faced turkey sandwich. Mm. So we make our bread every day. And so it's toasted bread, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, uh, oven-roasted turkey. And then Chef makes a cranberry orange compote on the side. And Oh, Ooh. and it has stuffing on it. Do you like that? I do not like stuffing, no. You don't like stuffing? No, I'm, that's okay. Don't come at me, people. But I, I, know, I know I'm in the minority. Don't at him, yeah, people. Yeah. I know I'm in the minority. Let people the man love, like what people he likes. love stuffing. People love the dressing, you would call it. Uh, but it's not for me. But, I mean, if it's mixed... If it's mixed with something else, sure. I guess I could. I guess I could try. Sure, it. we do have a lot of sandwiches people enjoy. Uh, the Clock Norris is will go down the in clock, infamy. The Clock yeah, Norris. So. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And also, I mean, bakery as well. I mean, that's what you were known for. Yep. And, yep. And so you've got a lot of sweets yep. as well. Yep. Thanksgiving pies are coming, so make sure you call us for your Thanksgiving pies. We make our crust homemade. It's all butter crust. My grandma's apple pie recipe. Um, Nothing beats so grandma's apple pie. You're not wrong. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, the beer cheese was great, by the Good. way. Good. Very easy to do. So you can get those recipes on our website, kwqc.com. Just click on Quad Cities Live. And Tiffany's is located at 210 East 2nd Street in Davenport. You can call the number on your screen. And uh, to get a look at the menu items, the bakery items, and of course the drink menu, you can head to Tiffany's website. That's tiffany's.com. And uh, Tiffany, we're going to see you next Monday. Yeah. Morgan, we'll be back with you for some uh, other helpful holiday recipes that are That's quick and great. easy. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. Well, next on QCL, storage solutions with self or shelf genie rather. How to turn your cluttered drawers and closet spaces into organized bliss. Next time on Quad Cities Live, it's almost turkey time. Chef Stephanie Gottke will be in the QCL kitchen with tips and tricks to making sure your turkey is ready to go on Thanksgiving. 
Plus, Blaine's Farm and Fleet will be here with some of the hottest toys this holiday season. We'll also learn about the company's Kids Helping Kids donation drive. That and much more when you join us on Tuesday for Quad Cities Live. Well, if you're like me, chances are you probably could do a little reorganization of your drawers and shelves in many different rooms of your home, and perhaps you could use a little help doing that. Look no further than Shelf Genie. Julie Johnson is one of the co-owners of Shelf Genie, and uh, the you are located in the Quad Cities and Iowa City and everywhere in between. Julie, thank you so much for coming to Quad Cities Live Thanks today. Thanks for having me. This is incredible. I mean, I've, I've, we, we've seen organization like this, but this is something I was telling Julie 24 hours ago, we were reorganizing our chores in the kitchen, and, and this would have been something that we that we needed 24 hours ago. So what is a Shelf Genie? Shelf Genie is um, custom glide-outs that go into your existing kitchen cabinets. Yes. Okay, so the, the key here is custom. So this is fit for your specific kitchen. Correct. So it's not, it's definitely not one size fits all. It is not one size fits all. Um, we, um, we have done anywhere from four inches of cabinets all the way up to 80 inches wow. and all in between. Okay, so who is this for? Who might benefit from Shelf Genie? Um, anybody that is tired of getting on their hands and knees. Me. <laughs> all of us, um, right? <laughs> those people that have the pantries, those are really tight shelves yeah. and it's hard to get and see everything in the back. And anybody that wants to just do a kitchen refresh, okay. um, our glide outs are um, a lot less, it's a lot less investment than doing a whole kitchen re sure. re remodel. And um, sometimes your cabinets are fine. Yeah. You just need new things inside. Yeah, you need, you need new, new shelving to organize everything from, you know, we were talking about uh, from scissors to pens <laughs> yes. and, and, and all different sorts of yes. equipment. I mean, look at this top drawer here. I know it's probably hard to see from the camera, but there's a before and after there of, of a pantry. You can see that there's just a few shelves there just with items scattered all about, but then you get those specific shelving yes. units right there where you can organize each thing by category almost. This client actually had, this was a, a coat closet that she had. She okay. had a pantry on one side of the hallway and on the other was this coat closet. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. And those were, I believe, those are about six feet long that we did those glide okay. outs. All of our glide out rails are rated for 100 pounds. Okay, so we don't have to worry about no. items perhaps getting too heavy. No, at, not at, least at all. In, in those specific areas. So uh, we're talking about these glide outs. So they can go in any size cabinet, any size space. Any size space, any size cabinet. Um, we can do um, under your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink. Okay. We can do in your RV. Um, anywhere that you have uh, storage cabinets. Okay, and I mean, yeah, they're they're very easy. I mean, you've got different. We got pots and pans. Uh, we've got the uh, pans right here, so you can put the pans in one shelf, and then you can. You put can the, have the drawer, the and then you can have. Lids. Um, if you already have glide outs, we can also yeah. um, move them move them around a little bit. Uh -huh. If you if you had a cabinet that already had two glide outs, mm -hmm. we can lower this one just a tad. Oh sure. And then we could add a third one. Okay. I did this in my own home and absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We can also do dividers for oh, those I see that. nasty the Tupperware. The lids. I mean, we all know we've got those Tupperware where we don't have the lids matching one another. So this is a, a very simple organization. We've got all the Tupperware of different sizes here, and then the corresponding lids that can go from the uh, smallest to largest. And we can here. go. We can go from this orientation, or we could go this way with the divider oh, sure. shelves. Um, any, all of our glide outs come in five different um, uh, levels for the okay. walls. We can go. This is a single. This is a double. We can go all the way up to uh -huh. a file. Um, height. Um, we can do trash can. I was going to say, you can, you don't have to be specifically in the kitchen. I mean, this can be any room in the Anywhere. house. And because it's customizable, I mean, this is where you come into the home and you look and see what the customer needs and that's how you work with Correct. them to come up with that design. We have designers that come out and they give, we offer a free in-home design consultation. Okay. And we ask for a couple of pictures because we do a 3D design before we get there. Mm. And then we work with the um, client and the designer work together to come up with the best solutions for your areas. So you seem to be uh, very passionate about this. I'm, I'm guessing from experience of needing organization in your own home, but uh, what drove you and your husband to create this business, uh, business here in the Quad Cities? Um, we, uh, my husband was in manufacturing and we mm -hmm. got transferred far away from our family. Yeah. And we decided to move to the Quad Cities. Our uh, daughter mo lives here, but mostly our granddaughters are yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, the grandbabies. Yeah. So we were looking for a business to open and we loved what the concept of this and also the, uh, 
when we went to, to visit the place, um, they were like, we don't sell things to people that they don't need. Sure. And that was really important to me. So. Yeah, and I mean, this is definitely <laughs> something that people do need. <laughs> yes. And Shelf Genie, I, I was telling Julie before the show, I had never heard of it before, but I went to the website. It's actually been a company since the year 2000, but it's very, very new within the last couple of years to this area. To this area, and you're yes. And really expanding. Because yes. this is a need. Yes, we are expanding to yeah. Peoria. Um, we're excited about that. Yeah. And um, we we um, cover the Quad Cities, Iowa City, um, Cedar Rapids, Dubuque, and um, and now um, Peoria and yeah. all the counties and in, in the in between. Yeah, I think it's upwards of like two dozen counties that you all cover. And yeah. for you at home watching right now, Shelf Genie has a special offer just for you. Julie, tell them about it. Well, if you mention that you saw me on Quad City Live, um, we will give you 50% off of your installation. 50 percent yes that's quite a chunk off and of course you've got that free in-home uh, design consultation Correct. with any any sort of appointment any so, appointment yes so again this is all customized to your area whether it be a coat closet whether it be your bedroom closet your kitchen under the sink that's also a big one as well so we've got the contact information for Jelf, uh, shelf genie on your screen at shelfgenie.com the number on your screen as well and again mention quad cities live and you can receive 50 percent off your installation price uh, what a deal that is uh, julie thanks so much for coming in thanks and for having this me. Is a wonderful organization example. Got to get in contact with you. Should have gotten in contact with you 24 <laughs> hours ago, but there's still time. It's never too late, right? All right. Thanks, Julie. And thank you so much for watching Quad Cities Live. Your local news at four with Sharon Dorick is coming up next. Have a great evening.